simultaneously with the development of what are called Dravidian Pandas, who are ancient ancestors or precursors or predecessors to the existing Carnatic music. Carnatic music now has lots of ragas, janyas and so on, hundreds of ragas and janyas. But most of them, but for the North Indian, Hindustani or other kinds of influence, developed from Arisai or what is called the seven notes or seven music Dravidian puns. There were seven Dravidian puns initially. The earliest pun was called Boop. In North we call it Boop and in South we call it Mohanam. So it was called, it was not called Mohanam at that time. It was called Mullai Pan. As you know, Tamils were very naturalist based not the recent ones, like we have lost because of the city development infrastructure and lots of concrete jungles and all that. Tamils were naturalists, basically. So the Tamil land was divided into four pieces. Nadal, Mullai, Pale, Marudam and so on. <coughs> so depending on the land, whether it was a forest or whether it was grasslands or whether it was uh, desert or whatever it is. Well, so this particular Sengotiyar was tuned to play either Hanumathodi or it was used to play Mullai Pan. Mullai Pan was the first scale that was developed by Tamils. It was pentatonic. Boop as you know was pentatonic and so is Mohan. <coughs> so Mullai Pan was used by women those days to sing with other kinds of yarns, including the Sengoti yarn. So what I'm going to do is, <coughs> I'm going to give you a short demo of the exact Mullai Pan that was composed and then played in a Sengoti yarn. This is a reconstruction of the wooden yarn with the boat and the ebony stem, all remade in carbon epoxy, carbon fiber epoxy with some silk attached to it. We had some silk layers also to soften the sound a bit. Fine. So this particular yarn was made and then we have also patented it and I am uh, the principal investigator and please give a big hand to your colleague Aman Chaudhary. Aman Chaudhary. And uh, uh, earlier you had a senior in music club by name.